Thank you. Today I'm signing HB 211099 about policies and procedures to help identify domestic abuse. And, you know, we have a, a moral obligation to ensure that every child has access, has a happy and healthy childhood. This bill will help us uh, review and, and improve the statutory definition of domestic abuse to make sure that youth are protected from abuse and neglect in the state of Colorado. I want to thank Representative Ransom, Representative Michelson Janay, Senator Zenzinger, and Senator Smallwood, uh, along with uh, joining us up here, Jing, uh, Jing Tesserero and uh, Gina Pigeonout and Com Com County Commissioner uh, uh, Thomas from Douglas County as well. With that, I'll turn it over to Representative Michelson Janay. Thank you, um, Mr. Governor. I'm so used to saying thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, we are really uh, grateful to be here. This was a, a very tough bill on a very tough topic, and yet it was incredibly important that we move forward to protect children. And our goal has been and will continue to be the protection of children from domestic abuse. And I'm grateful to Representative Ransom for bringing the bill to me um, and giving me the opportunity to work on it with her. And Representative Ransom. Thank you, Governor. Yes, I was very honored to be asked to be included on this bill. And I'm glad that we were able to get it through. It, we clearly did some amending as it worked through the process, but that's what legislating is all about, is finding that common ground where we can get the bill through and get the process started. We may not have it completely to the end zone yet, but we this bill will set us in motion for that run. And it will get the definitions put into statute through the committees that will be working on it. This task force will do great work. Senator Zenzir. I just want to say thank you to all of the uh, parents out there, all of the advocates that really helped us uh, get this bill to where it needed to go. In particular, I want to thank Ty's mother, Jean, who's with us today. Uh, really and truly, this is, this is for Ty. Thank you. So, and, um, you know, uh, Jing um, Tesserero uh, lo lost her son. Nothing can be harder than losing a child, but she was able to find some meaning and, and drive to make improvements with that. And, and I think that because of this work, uh, there'll be other mothers that won't have to go through what, what you went through. And I want to thank you for lending your voice in support of this bill. Thank you, Governor. That will make it the law of Colorado. Go, Jean. There's the, the pen for you. The Thank signing you. pen, Senator. Representative. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you for making it the law. Absolutely, Thank Commissioner. You Thank you so much for joining us yes, and sir. for your Thank work you. on this as well. Okay. The next bill we're signing is HB 211212. Diversity of governors' appointments to boards. Representative Soper, uh, Representative Escar, Senator Quorum, and Senator Fields have joined us. Yes. You know, uh, Colorado for all means everybody, and that means <clears throat> for all of our state-led boards and commissions, and we all know you love setting up a lot of those. Uh, we have to find uh, talented, thoughtful people from all of our, of our state, from all walks of life, uh, to serve on there's more than 300 of these uh, unpaid boards and commissions some of them some of them cover expenses if you have to travel to Denver but uh, they're they're essentially volunteer positions I, I'm, I'm proud of our administration's work so far um, we uh, set a new record for for women we're at 49 percent so we're at 49 percent we're almost there on parity uh, we actually have a few that uh, identify as, as non-binary, so I think men are probably around 49% too. So we're probably close to parity. We're going to do even better. Uh, rural residents, 22%, well, well above um, uh, uh, the, the population in our state. People of color, 25%. So <clears throat> this takes a lot of work, and this bill will help by responding to the urgency of the mission <clears throat> to making sure that people from historically underrepresented communities and parts of our state uh, can be on our state-led boards, commissions, committees, task forces. Some of these boards are advisory. Some of them actually make decisions about where money goes. Mm -hmm. So they're really important. They make and they vote on decisions about where money goes. Uh, they really run the gamut. Others give recommendations back to the legislature. Uh, I want to thank um, 
the work by our team at the state, and I want to thank uh, Kate Siegel Shimko, who heads our boards and commissions work. Uh, and especially I want to thank the bill sponsors, Representative Soper, Majority Leader Escar, Senator Quorum, Senator Fields for their initiative, for their partnership, for uh, their help. We, we always seek the help of legislators in getting good applicants to come forward from your districts. You know more folks in, in all areas of the state and we know that uh, this bill will hopefully help continue that partnership to get more great applicants for Colorado's boards and commissions from across the state. With that, we'll turn it over to Representative Escar. Well, thank you very much, Governor, and thank you to the other bill sponsors for bringing this bill forward. Um, when I was originally approached with the idea, I said absolutely. Um, those of you who may not know, I'm from Pueblo. Um, I like saying that a lot. Um, <laughs> but we always want to make sure that any boards and commissions that are supposed to be a statewide board and commission truly represent the people of Colorado. And that means exactly everything you've listed already, whether it's gender, whether it's race and ethnicity, but also where you're from what region of the state you're from, because it's so vitally important that all of Colorado's voices are heard on these boards and commissions. So thank you for that, Governor. Representative Soper. Oh, thank you, Governor. Well, first of all, I want to thank uh, my, my co-prime sponsors, Majority Leader Escar, Senator Quorum, and Senator Fields, who couldn't be here. It's uh, no mistake that the four prime sponsors represent diversity in our own ranks, whether it's geographic diversity or diversity in terms of um, uh, race or being part of the LGBTQ community. We want to make sure that our entire state is represented when it comes to gubernatorially appointed boards and commissions. Because after all, these are important boards and commissions that make decisions for the future of Colorado. And it's good that they're a reflection of the state and that we also look towards uh, culture as well within our state. And it's something that we have a proud heritage of, citizen involvement. And I'm glad to see that continued here today. And thank you very much, Governor. Appreciate it. Thank you. And Senator Quorum. Uh, thank you very much, Governor, for. Uh, <coughs> This day, I, I think it's something that uh, I feel very good about. Um, I've always said the R behind my name stands for rural, um, so <laughs> not Pueblo, but you know, <laughs> it, you know, I, there's a chili thing there that we have to talk about. <laughs> uh, it, I think it's just important that that we do this, and I think it's also sending a message to rural Colorado that uh, you know the opportunity is there. So it's up to you also to take advantage of that. So I think this is a win-win and makes government in Colorado better. So thank you. It's officially the law of Colorado. Congratulations. There you go, Senator. Thank you.